welcome you all today students we are going to talk about long and parole most of the students they mispronounce this word l a n g u e as uh, lang but this is not lang the right pronunciation of this word is long so here we are going to make differences between these two the dichotomies are uh, distinctive terms, concepts, or approaches in linguistics. This is our lecture number eight. We already have conducted uh, our seven lectures in this lecture series program. These topics are from the subject linguistics part one, English code 102. So without further ado, let's get started on today's topic. Here, we are going to talk about long at first. Long means language or tongue. So this is very obvious meaning of the long as language or tongue it is underlying system of rules in the language conventionally accepted fixed and abstract in nature so uh, rules of language like grammar of language are conventional uh, language rules uh, in other words we must say grammar fixed and abstract in nature abstract in nature mean to say grammar rules which are fixed in one's mind uh, one has uh, learned about the present simple tense, the rules of uh, grammar are present simple tense in English language, for example, that is exactly long. On the other hand, when we say parole, parole means a speech or a speaking. Parole is individual, variable and concrete aspect of language. So this is the concrete aspect of language means concrete mean to say whatever rules of language are in one's mind that is uh, abstract but exactly the abstract rules are language rules which are been used uh, while speaking that is exactly parole so parole is concrete mean to say whatever we speak in front of uh, the people we are performing in a concrete form that is parole so here, this is the difference between long and parole at first. Here is another difference. We are going to talk about this. these two terms. Long exists in the mind of each individual in the form of a word, images, and knowledge of conventions. I mean to say whatever in one's mind uh, is there, the rules are language knowledge that is long. On the other hand, when these conventions uh, that exist in the mind as long are used in concrete form in actual speech or writing, they become instances of parole. Parole is actual sounds and the sentence is produced by an individual speaker or writer. It is concrete physical manifestation of the abstract long that exists in the mind. That manifestation, whether it is in the form of a written paragraph or a speech, that is parole the exact performance of language and the knowledge in one's mind is long the exact performance is known as parole here is another example of these two terms these two terms um, were made the differences by saucier saucier considered long as a legislative side of language or the law of language so long is actually legislative mean to say law of language which is in one's mind uh, all the people, all the things, uh, all the languages have uh, their certain laws in uh, in the books or in one's mind. But when that law, uh, however, parole is the consecutive side of the language because it uses the law or code of language. This uh, text is taken from long.com. So... Uh, the executive or consecutive form of uh, the language I mean to say whenever we are using that law in court and individual lawyers they use differently uh, the same rules which are which already they have uh, got in their mind so that consecutive uh, form of uh, law that is known as parole here is another uh, difference and the di difference is uh, by this language we are taking an example another useful comparison between long and parole is made by the analogy of a game of uh, chess so here is another comparison of uh, a game of chess in the game the rules are determined and they are understood by all the players but each game is different and depends on the individual performances which differ from player to player 
तो चेस गेम के अंदर जो है वो देखें कि रूल्स सब प्लेयर्स के पड़े हुए होते हैं रूल्स एक ही तरह के होते हैं बट हर गेम जो है वो हर खिलाड़ी मुख्तलि तरीके से उसको प्ले कर रहा होता है उसको परफॉर्म कर रहा होता है दैट इज दी परोल तो रूल्स जो भी हैं गेम के जो सबके लिए एक ही जैसे हैं सारे प्लेयर्स के लिए और जो जो रूल्स जो है वो पढ़े हुए हैं प्लेयर्स ने तो वो उनके माइंड्स के अंदर जो भी हैं दैट इज द लॉन्ग साइड ऑफ लैंग्वेज एंड परोल हाउ दैर इज बिन कंजागरव how the game is been played with the help of those rules the exact manifestation or performance of that game is parole side of language so these are actually two terms of linguistics thanks for attention thank you very much hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you